Hi, this is Steph and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking really, really briefly about what materials I normally use. And in the meantime, we're going to have a look at a drawing of a dragon that I'm doing on the video aspect of things. And yeah, let's get into it. So before I start, I'd just like to mention that the um, character I'm drawing now is one of my very, very first original characters. He's called Demi and I love him and I will be drawing a lot more of him very soon so if you want to see more of him uh, do follow my Instagram, do follow my DeviantArt, do follow my Facebook because I'm doing a story with him and with other characters and it's really exciting and it's all happening so do stay tuned because that's all gonna kick off very soon back here we are back again to the materials um, so to start off with I have a really really basic um, like big graphite mechanical pencil it's great for sketching i got it off wish for like a pound or like for free and i just paid shipping or something like that it's really excellent for um sketching although i do normally sketch with a pen um but i'll i'll talk about my sketching process in a later video perhaps but yeah to start off with i would say i'd use a very basic mechanical pen pencil with a big nib uh, nothing too fancy just literally the the grossest i will buy it whatever um in terms of uh colored pencils which is another material i use i use faber castell is that how you pronounce it i'm sorry i'm italian so there's certain things i probably will pronounce wrong and i do apologize um but i think they're pronounced faber castell and they're really decent actually they're not too expensive um, and I find they blend really, really well. I do wish I would use them more. They're one of those things that I kind of want to use more, but I never get around to do it, which is weird. I'm sure you guys have some along those lines. It's just like, oh, I'll use these fancy pencils one day, and you just never do. Um, so there's that. Um, other materials I use would be perhaps Windsor & Newton watercolours with a Koi brush pen, although I do have other... Um, a brush paintbrush koi paintbrush rather although i do have other paintbrushes but they're like again they're the really cheap generic ones I, I can't say that i buy a specific brand because i just buy them when i need them um the only branded thing i have in regards of paint is actually windsor newton watercolors in the tablets not tablets the little square thingies and uh, the koi water brush which is incredible by the way it costs like £12. If you want it, don't skimp out. Buy the original because it's so worth it. I carry it around everywhere. I can literally do paintings wherever I want. It's amazing. Go for it. If you want it, go for it because it's a really, really good buy. Um, for mark pens, I use... Well, you've seen them. You may see them. Sorry. <laughs> you may see them. Uh, I use Copic markers. Um, I have... Uh, they're Copic Chow. Um, and I have a set of... I don't know. Um, but they're decent they're not that bad um i got them as a gift so i really don't know how much they were but i did have a look online and they're quite expensive uh so i'm really really grateful <laughs> that i got them as a as a present rather than buying them myself because i wanted them for a while and they just surprised me with it which was really lovely um then for inking which is something i'm really struggling with sorry really struggling with and hoping to do better at i use uh pigment liners and i couldn't tell you for the life of me the brand it's not Pixma, is it? No, Pixma's a different brand. The pi You've seen them before. <laughs> the pigment liners, they're, they're like, they have a brownie colour and they have, um, there is like different nib sizes. So there's like 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.2. Then there's a brush pen, a graphics pen. You 100% know which ones I'm talking about. Everybody has them. You can get them stupid cheap. Um, you can get them in black. You can get them in red, green. I just have them in black. And I have like a set of five, maybe. Uh, they're running out though, which I'm really good about. Um, but I will refresh and buy some more. Um, in regards of um, traditional art, I think that's pretty much it. I am, ooh, exciting stuff. I am thinking of starting to do acrylic paintings, but I'm not revealing anything just yet because I don't know if it's going to be pants and that is my 
one greatest fear. So I've hinted, but I'm not showing you anything because I haven't done anything yet. So <laughs> let's see how that goes. And if it goes well, I will tell you brands if there are any. I just I just buy the cheapest stuff, bro. Like I don't even I don't even bother anymore. I just buy I'm not like, oh, I need to buy that specific paintbrush. No, but buy. I don't have time. I don't I can't afford. So I'll just buy what's there and make something semi-decent with the uh, rubbish materials that's that's my game um in the digital aspect of things which you're looking at now i am using a um bought version of uh, paint tool sci um i got this ages ago i actually just bought the license which is really cheap like 50 pound or something uh so i'm using paint tool sci i don't have i'm not fancy i don't have any custom brushes I literally just use the brushes that are there and just just get on with it and i use to draw on it a bamboo pen tablet naturally uh, but i couldn't tell you if it lied for me which model which number because again i bought this like what four years ago five years ago it's discontinued i had a look for it for oh, i'll replace it because it's playing up a little bit and i just can't find it so you know what I don't know. I don't know what number it is, but it's black. It's got uh, buttons that have like geometric shapes on them, They're, like textured. And there's a blue line in the middle that blinks when my pen isn't on it, but stays still when my pen is on it. So that's that's the description of my pen tablet thingy. Um, and I hope it helps. And I hope um, you figure out what code it is because I have no idea. I threw it with the box as well. Uh, I have the, this strange habit of hoarding boxes for um, like uh, like gadgets and stuff. Like I've got, I've got a box for a phone that I threw away six months ago and it's still there for some reason I keep it. Anyways, um, I think that's all I have to say for today. A little informative video for you guys. This is the material, these are the materials rather that I use frequently and I do hope to show you in future, in the very near future, in future videos, how I use them. And uh, I'll be showing you lots and lots more speed paints with the materials I've just listed. And I'm really, really excited to show you how I use them and how I struggle with them, how I excel with them. Mo mostly struggle, I'm not lying to myself, I'm mostly gonna struggle, but it's all to see. It's all to see and that's what we like, excitement and, uh, not knowing what's gonna happen so yeah i i really do hope oh sorry about that i hope you enjoy the rest of the video um enjoy the uh royalty free lo-fi guys and have a wonderful rest of the day thank you so much for watching um catch me on all my pages i'm there every single day please please comment contact me chat to me i love speaking with you guys and hearing your points of view uh, so yeah feel free to uh, give us a shout have a nice day see you later bye